first thing I want to do is remove the wheel. So take off all five of your lug nuts with a 21 millimeter socket. Now take the wheel off. If it's stuck on here, go ahead and put a lug nut back on so it doesn't fall off and then use a rubber mallet and hit it from the backside. That should pop it right off. Take the lug nut off now that the wheel is free. There she goes. All right, take the wheel off. Now that the wheel's off, I'm gonna go behind the caliper here. You'll see two 18 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna remove both of those. That's gonna take the caliper assembly, that means with the bracket, right off the knuckle so that we can set this out of our way. Leave this bolt on a few threads so it can hold this on while you disconnect this bottom one. Take this one out and then carefully hold your caliper while you take the top one out. What I'm gonna do now is flip it up and put it on top of this upper control arm. I'm gonna secure it with a bungee cord. That way it stays here and does not put any pressure on this brake hose. There we go. And now we can take the rotor off. Once you have the rotor off, you can have much easier access to the ABS sensor, which is right here. Take a five millimeter Allen socket and remove this bolt. If yours is rusted, you might have to use some different tools. Thankfully, mine is not. Take it out of here. I'll get that in a second. And then the ABS sensor should slide right up. Pay attention though, because it has a little bit of a, a washer behind it here kind of like a little spacer. So save that, we'll reuse it on the new sensor. It's there for a reason. Now I'm gonna take a pocket screwdriver and stick it right in here in this little clip and just pry it open. There we go. Take the wire out of it, follow it up. It should be clipped onto the brake hose here. Take it off, leave this clip on the brake hose. Just take the ABS wire out of the clip. There's one more. If you follow it up along the fender liner, these two little push pins here are actually the backside of where it clips in. So I'm gonna take it out, pull it down so we can see what we're doing. And right here is your connector. Press on the tab, pull it out. And here is your old ABS wire. Now take your new ABS sensor and let's put this little shim on. Don't forget about that. Like I said, it's there for a reason. And now slide it into the hole. Make sure everything lines up. Let's put the little bolt through. Sometimes this is a little bit difficult to get in here just because you don't have much space. Thread it on by hand. And then take my ratchet and snug it up. But this is very small, so you don't want to make it too tight. Just give it a little snug, that's all. Otherwise you'll break it in there and then you'll run into bigger issues. And now we wanna just follow this up and basically clip it in everywhere so that it's nice and secure. Put it in here, make sure it goes in the right way. And then this bracket you can see has like a little fork and the fork has to slide over this shanked part of the bolt there. There we go, just like that. Up here, clip it into these plastic retainers, just like so. And finally, make sure it goes under this control arm. You don't want it to go over, because once everything is back in, it needs to be underneath so that the control arm can pivot up and down. Clip it into the main connector here. Make sure it clicks. And now, slide it up and line up these two pins with these two holes here, and push it through to completely secure it into place. There we go. And now, let's put everything back together.
Now, if your hub is dirty, corroded, rusty, whatever, um, you wanna clean it up, make sure that it's a nice flat surface for the rotor to mount on, as well as on the backside of the rotor. I have a new rotor with a new hub with anti-seize already applied to it. If yours does not have anti-seize, go ahead and apply some. Slide the rotor on. Now let's put the caliper on. Now let's take the caliper, make sure the pads are still seated in here. Slide it over the rotor. Get your bolts, line them up with the mounting holes. Line up this bottom one first because it's easier. Thread it on so it holds this. Once this is held in place, you can put on the top one. Let's snug them up and then torque them to 136 foot-pounds. Hundred and thirty six foot pounds. If you're gonna put anything on the threads of these bolts, use thread locker, not any C's or grease. Perfect. Let's put the wheel back on. Put on all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and torque them to hundred and fifty foot pounds. That is if you have the five lug. Um, wheel pattern. If you have seven lugs, then you want to torque them to 100 foot-pounds. Double check them. There you have it.